Good day. My name is Ben Kemper, and this is Mercutio from Romeo and Juliet, and Matt from The Marriage of Bet and Boo by Christopher Durang. Romeo! Oh, he is wise, and on my lie has stolen him home to bed. Nay, I'll conjure him. Romeo, humors, madman, passions, lover, appear thou in the likeness of a sigh. Speak but one rhyme, and I am satisfied. Pronounce but love and dove. Give one word to my gossip Venus, a nickname for her purblind son and heir, young Adam Cupid, who shot so trim when King Cofetua loved the beggar maid. He heareth not, he stirreth not, he moveth not, the ape is dead. Romeo, I conjure thee by Rosalind's bright eye, her high forehead and scarlet lip, her firm foot, straight leg, and quivering thigh, and the domains that there adjacent lie, that in thy figure thou appear to us. If love is blind, love cannot hit the mark. Romeo, I'll home to my truckle bed, this field bed is too cold for me to sleep. What Hardy is trying to tell us here is one should avoid crazy people, especially in marriage and live-in situations, but in everyday life as well. Sometimes it's difficult to decide whether a person is crazy or not, like Eustace Yavai in Return of the Native. Crazy people often mean well, but that is not enough. On some level, Attila the Hun must have meant well. If you're having dinner with someone who suddenly seems insane, you can pretend that you're a doctor and have just heard your beeper go off. If the crazy person calls you later, either to express anger at your sudden departure or ask for medical advice, say you have a bad connection and hang up. And if they call you after that, well, then I'm afraid you're just going to have to call the phone company and get your number changed. Again. And when you call the phone company, if the person at the other end seems stupid, hostile, or crazy, you can hang up and dial again to be connected with another representative. And this may be done as many times as necessary until you get somebody sane. The phone company having many employees. It is, of course, impossible to completely protect yourself from crazy people, and many precautions will occur to you only when it is too late. But... As Virginia Woolf put it into the lighthouse, admittedly in a different context, the attempt is all. Thank you.